There is a lot of new movement in Lightfall, with Strand, Valiant Charge, and more, and this guide will have you covered for everything you can think of. A lot of the techniques that are left out in previous guides will also be featured in this one. This guide will be organized different than before, in a way that is much easier to learn. I will discuss basic techniques, then Strand, then Solar, then Void. All of the topics that I will cover are on the screen now with their timestamps, and they will also be chapters on YouTube. The first thing you need to know is how to jump correctly. Burst Glide is going to be the best jump for Warlock because it gives you a small boost of forward momentum, which turns into a normal glide that retains that momentum. And the way to use this jump is to quickly activate your glide when you reach the downwards half of your regular jump. Swords are another tool that make you faster on Warlock in tandem with jumping. To do a basic sword skate, jump and swing sword. You can chain these basic skates and do them faster by doing what are called fake skates. To do these, jump, swing sword, swap weapons, and activate burst glide. And to chain these fixed gates, right after you activate your burst glide, deactivate the glide, then swap back to your sword so you're ready to do another fake skate as soon as you touch the ground. So this full combo is done by jump, swing sword, swap weapons, activate burst glide, deactivate glide, pull out sword, touch the ground, and repeat. Another way to carry the momentum of a sword is doing what's called a bounce skate. So when you touch the ground after a full fake skate, double tap jump to b-hop and then continue b-hopping. So the inputs for this technique are jump, swing sword, swap weapons, activate burst glide, deactivate glide, touch the ground, and b-hop. This technique will be very good for later in the video when Icarus Dash is introduced. If you're using Lament, you can do these techniques a little faster by using Charge Light Attacks. For each technique, jump and charge sword at the same time. Doing this gives your sword a noticeable amount of bonus speed, and it's a bit better than normal sword skating. Eager Edge is a sword perk that allows you to gain a bonus to your sword lunge distance for one second after you pull out your sword and the perk gets refreshed every 3 seconds. The enhanced version of this is definitely worth getting. It adds 25% bonus lunge distance, and allows you to have the perk for 1.5 seconds. Eager Edge sword skating has the exact same properties as normal sword skating, except your sword takes you further and is much faster, so the timings might be a little different. To do an Eager Skate, pull out your sword, jump, swing with Eager Edge, swap weapons, and activate glide for the remainder of your fall to the ground. You can also do fake skates with Eager. Pull out sword, jump, swing with Eager, swap weapons, activate burst glide, then deactivate your glide. After that, you can carry the momentum of the Eager swing by b-hopping off the ground until your Eager cooldown is refreshed.
When your sword has zero ammo, an Eager Edge light attack actually gives you about the same speed as a normal sword skate, so you can do normal sword skate techniques with that. Valiant Charge is a perk that gives extra sword lunge distance after blocking damage. What's cool about this perk is that unlike Eager Edge, the perk cooldown doesn't go away after a single swipe, so you could do two swipes in one single cooldown. Currently, enemy damage, environmental damage, fall damage, ally damage, and ally healing abilities will activate this perk. Ally damage and ally healing abilities seems to be a bug, so that may get patched in the future. Roger's the pop in. Alright, posting a picture of it in general. It's nice. Hey, never mind, we're good, we're chilling. Oh, we're not. Where did he come? I'm just gonna get a kill. This perk is much more situational than Eager Edge, but all of the same sword techniques can still be done with it. And because it is more situational, the future techniques mentioned in this video will reference Eager Edge only but know that all of the techniques can also be done with Valiant Charge. Using Scroll Wheel Down as a secondary bind for jump allows you to use jump faster than you can with Spacebar, which is really nice for a lot of situations, especially climbing slopes and doing quick inputs. Grapple is a grenade ability on Strand that allows you to create or hook onto a grapple point and pulls you towards it. You usually want to place a grapple higher than your jump height so you can jump, then grapple slightly upwards to gain more momentum. To do a simple grapple launch, jump, press grenade, then when the grapple ends, activate burst glide or B hop to carry the momentum of that grapple. and during any point of a grapple, you can press grenade again to cancel it. You can also use a grapple to swing to another direction or to swing around a corner. To do this, grapple, turn outwards of where you want to go, then quickly turn inwards to the direction that you want to go in, and then release. After completing the swing, you can follow up with a burst glide or b-hops to maintain its momentum. This isn't exactly useful, but you can do a cool trick of infinitely flying around a grapple by latching on, then turning early, and then you can follow that circle until your mouse can't keep up or you get too close to the grapple. You can also carry the momentum of a sword swing or an eager swing into a grapple by doing a bounce skate, then activating your grapple. You can create a tangle with a melee ability that can be thrown and grappled onto. You can ride the tangle until you reach the ground or press grenade again. This technique doesn't use your grenade ability, so you can follow up with another grapple or other jumping techniques. You can also grapple onto other moving objects such as other players, enemies, sparrows, or projectile weapons.
Using an uppercut attack into a strand super will allow you to move quickly for the duration of the super, but then eventually dies down. Solar is the best Warlock subclass for movement, and being able to master these solar techniques will help make your movement with Strand and other subclasses more impactful. For your jump, still use Burst Glide. For Super, use Well of Radiance for Well Skating. For Melee, use Snap for Snap Skating. Grenade is up to preference, but I like to use Fusion Grenades for good damage and low cooldowns. For your class ability, Phoenix Dive gives you a fast vertical dive that heals you. For aspects, Icarus Dash and Heat Rises are going to give you the best range of movement. Icarus Dash is a directional input ability, so you will dash towards whichever movement key you are holding, and it will take you backwards by default. For all the techniques in this guide, you want to be running forward and sprinting. If you want to dash forward while carrying the extra speed that the Icarus Dash gives you, run forward, jump, activate glide, then press dash. If you don't glide before your dash, it'll just be a normal air dodge and it doesn't give you any speed. To get even more speed from a dash, do a normal burst glide into the ground, then as soon as you touch the ground, jump, activate burst glide, then dash right after. Try to do those inputs as fast as possible to get the most speed. After doing that combo, you can chain dashes by cycling b-hops while dashing forwards. After falling a long distance, you can bounce off of a slope and immediately dash to redirect your momentum. When you hit the slope, jump, activate glide, then dash to carry the speed of that bounce. For all sword techniques, you can throw in a dash right after the combo to get some more speed. For a normal sword skate, jump, swing sword, swap weapons, activate glide, then Icarus dash. For a bounce skate, start by doing a normal fake skate. Jump, swing sword, swap weapons, activate glide, deactivate glide. But when you land on the ground, jump off of the ground. Activate Burst Glide, then Icarus Dash immediately after. And you want to do those last three inputs as fast as possible as soon as you hit the ground to get the most speed. All of these techniques are best done with Eager Edge. The fastest movement in the game is a technique called well skating. This is done by using your eager edge uppercut attack off of a ledge. Then as soon as you're off the ground in your uppercut animation, quickly press your super and jump button. In a well skate, you're going to be in third person until you touch the ground. This same technique can be done with a light attack, except it gives you less speed. In a well skate, if you want to quickly lose height, keep your sword out without the eager edge buff, and then just do a light attack in the air. And well skates can be pretty fun to chain. If you pull out your eager sword while you're moving that fast, it'll slow you down considerably, which makes them pretty easy to chain.
When you use Heat Rises, it gives you infinite glide for 15 seconds. Its main movement properties are that you can reach greater heights and climb slanted walls with ease. In general, when you're jumping with Warlock Glides, the faster your inputs between your jump and glide, the higher in the air you will rise. Keep in mind that having a grenade with a lower cooldown will let you get Heat Rises more often. When using Heat Rises in Sword Skates and especially in Well Skates, you will be slowed down a lot but you can keep most of your speed by partitioning your burst glides in short bursts in combination with Icarus dashes. When you're in a well skate and are moving very fast, you can use the immune frames of an Icarus dash to bounce off of a surface and redirect your momentum into a new direction. For vertical redirection, using Heat Rises will help you gain much greater heights. Ground skating is a way to do a light attack well skate off of the ground instead of a ledge. To do a ground skate on a flat surface, jump, swing, then press jump and super. These inputs need to be extremely tight, so using scroll wheel for jump here is very beneficial. The timing is very very difficult, try not to spam the inputs and try to space your jumps evenly. A variation of a ground skate is what's called a heavy ground skate. This is much easier to perform, but it isn't exactly as fast as a normal ground skate. To do this, jump, light attack, then heavy attack. And you want to try to do these inputs as close as possible to the ground. This is way easier done on liquid surfaces, but it can also be done on solid ground. Heavy ground skates can be done on any subclass on Warlock, but on Solar you can follow it up with an Icarus Dash, which is much better. Snap Skating is a very easy, forgiving technique on Solar. To do this, you need to use the Snap Melee and not have full super energy. Slide, jump, and press your super button to activate an uncharged melee. It's not crazy fast alone, but it can be chained with an Icarus Dash right after to go at a decent speed. And this is pretty good for when you don't have a sword equipped. If you're using Dawn Blade with Burst Glide, the most efficient way to dash in your super is to glide, dash forward, then deactivate your glide, and then repeat. This is the best method to avoid losing your ability to dash in your super. Dashing in Dawn Blade takes super energy, but if you pop a Heat Rises beforehand, each dash will use less super energy. I will only quickly talk about Strafe Glide as it's very niche. 
Its main use is to cycle Icarus dashes with B hopping and heat rises to gain great speeds for the duration of your grenade. Strafe Glide's other use is in Dawnblade when you're b-hopping off the ground. This works pretty well on flat surfaces or slight inclines. Using Blink on Warlock is a fast way to move around when you're carrying a part in your hands or if you don't have a sword on. Using Astrocyte Verse will give you Blink more often and will take your Blinks further, so use this every time you're using Blink. When you jump off the ground, the time afterwards before you press jump again will determine the angle of your Blink. Pressing jump quickly will give you more vertical distance, while pressing jump later will give you more horizontal distance. To combine a blink with eager edge, jump, swing, then spam jump to get the best effect. Do not swap weapons for this technique as you will have to wait longer to activate your blink. Using Nova Warp, you can combine blink or burst glide with the super's blink to gain great speeds. Using Blink Jump with Nova Warp is good for crossing gaps. In your super, press Jump to Blink, then alternate it with pressing Sprint and Dash while you wait for your Blink cooldowns. You can also use Nova Warp's Dash and Blink to climb a very large wall. Burst Glide with Nova Warp is good for lateral speed. In your super, jump, jump to activate burst, dash, touch the ground, and repeat. Transversives are pick number one for Warlock movement due to increased sprint and slide speed and weapon reloading. Wings of Sacred Dawn are good for keeping you suspended in the air when you would have normally run out of jump. Starfire Protocol gives you an extra fusion nade, which can be used for an extra heat rises charge. Warlock movement is the most complex and the most mechanical movement out of all three classes, but it's also the most rewarding and satisfying. This time around, I covered pretty much every useful and relevant technique that I could think of, so hopefully this helps you out. This video took a long time to make, and I had a lot of people help me out with it. Their links are in the description. Bye bye.